Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Wherever you are in the world, it's time for another edition of Victory in Sight. This is God in Action Publications and Ministries in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm Reverend Christopher Irvin. This is a world ministry, and we're reaching out to the world. Today, I've got a powerful message for you. But first, Father God, as we come this morning, we come this morning, Father God, to break bread. We come this morning, Father, to lift your holy name. For you, Lord, and you alone are worthy to be lifted. Someone within the sound of my voice needs you this morning, Lord. Someone needs your love. Someone needs your strength. Someone needs your overseeing their situation. We come this morning to lift you, Lord, and we come this morning calling upon your holy name. We ask that you lift, that you heal, that you deliver your people who are called by your name. Someone has a cancer, a disease, an infliction, an addiction. We ask that you touch, that you heal, that you deliver right now, as only you can. Someone is going through something, Lord, something financial, maybe something spiritual, something that they need to get a hold of, Lord, and we ask that you touch, that you heal, and that you deliver right now. And Lord, I ask that the message this morning be more of you and less of me, that it may edify your holy name for you and you alone are worthy. We claim the victory right now in the mighty name of Yahshua, Jesus Christ. And we claim it with an amen. This morning, I'd like for you to share a brief scripture with me. If you have your Bibles, go to the book of 2 Timothy 2 Timothy, the fourth chapter and the sixth through the eighth verse. For I am now ready to be offered. And the time of my departure is at hand. This is Paul speaking. I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day. And not to me only, but unto all them also that love his appearing. May the Lord add a blessing to each and every word. I want to use as a subject today, repetition pays off. Repetition pays off. This is a powerful word from Paul this morning, and I say this all the time. Christians are like athletes. Because we must constantly train our minds and our bodies for the course, for the race, for the fight. When I was growing up, one of the things I loved to do was play football and basketball. I would be at the basketball court almost every day because I loved to play. And I wasn't bad at it. But the reason that I was good as I was, is because I kept at it. I played every day. No, I didn't go to the NBA. 
I didn't play in any major college, but I continued to be good at it because I would play every day. Repetition pays off. Sometimes me and my friends would drive all the way across town to compete with some other guys at some other playgrounds. But we'd go around and we were good at it. Likewise, I served in the United States Army. And one of the things I learned in the United States Army was repetition pays off. Repetition pays off. 3, 4 a.m. in the morning, before most people were even up, we were out running. We would run long distances. We'd come back and we'd exercise. We'd rep the push-ups, the sit-ups, the jumping jacks every day before we even started our day and got out with war games or some of the other things that we had to do. Repetition pays off. Today, as Christians, we need to realize that repetition pays off. The Bible in the book of Joshua tells us that. God tells us what we need to do to be successful, what we need to do to be victorious, what we need to do. He said, meditate upon my word day and night. Turn from it neither to the left nor the right. Be courageous in everything you do. When we do some of those things that God asks us to do, he says in that book of Joshua that every place that your sole of your feet shall land, I have given it unto you. You hear what the word says? It says, I have given it unto you. If God says it, it will come true, my brothers and sisters. Continue to meditate on his word repetitiously, repetitiously. Read a scripture a day, just one scripture a day. Meditate on that scripture. Continue to lift God. Lean not toward the ways of the world in your daily lives, but lean and call upon the Lord. He is worthy. He will hear you. He will hear you. Call upon him daily, repetitiously. Repetition pays off. Continue to believe. Continue to have the faith of a mustard seed. Continue, my brothers and sisters, to lift his holy name. And he said it in his word, if I be lifted up, I will draw all men, all women unto me. Do you want to be victorious? Do you want to be successful? Do you want to be ready for the fight? Do you want to win the race? Continue to run that race, my brothers and sisters. And if you tire, you can stop for a moment. Wait upon the Lord and renew your strength. Mount up as wings of eagles. Run and not be weary. Walk and not faint. Repetition pays off. Continue to pray, my brothers and sisters, repeatedly, day and night. Continue to call upon the Lord repetitiously, day and night. Continue to lift, and you too shall be lifted. Know that. Claim that. And until next week, keep the victory in sight. The reason that I have written Victory in Sight is because... I believe that once you accept Jesus Christ in your life, you are victorious. And I compare being a Christian today with being an athlete. You see, because athletes must condition and train their bodies constantly, day in and day out. They must focus mentally as well as physically. And this is the same thing that Christians must do. But when we do that, truly we see victory in sight. The first poem tonight is entitled, I Shall Give and Follow. I shall give to my Lord my all in all, and then I shall wait to hear his call. If I give all I've got, I can never fail. 
For when I deal with my father, my ship is sure to sail. My strength is great. I am not weak. And as I walk with the Lord, I walk at my peak. I am built of stone. No evil can break. I shall never be broken. My Lord, I shall never forsake. He has given me hope to bear each hour. He has given me strength, given me power. As I walk in his steps, others shall follow. His powers are strong, his waters not shallow. And never has his love for mankind ever been hollow. To my Lord, my God, I shall give and follow.